Welcome to FPAW 2023 Open Pairs Division. I'm James Wiseman, and with me is the legendary Skippy Jammer. So Skippy, talk to me about what we're about to see here. So to me, Open Pairs is the jam of truth. There, you can't hide behind a third partner if you're having an off day. There's nowhere to, to go. Um, so you have to showcase your best skills. So this has always been my favorite uh, division within the Freestyle World Finals. Uh, because again, I think it really shows who the best players are. Absolutely. And I think of it also as kind of a shred diff division when it's just two players. It's often just one disc and it just comes down to how Hane can you get in the routine. Exactly. Yep. So for this first team, we have Mike Galoop and Brett Schramek. Mike is a Seattle jammer, a rain jammer, and Brett is an up-and-coming superstar from Toronto. And both of these players have a really powerful style, and Brett especially just has super consistency, and I think we're going to see that here. Yeah, so Brett the Jet Schremek from the Freestyle Birthplace, Toronto, Canada. And a big shout out to all the people who helped him develop as a great player. And he's really coming along just incredibly. His confidence is building, his skill set is building, and he's being paired with a veteran, former world champion, if I'm not mistaken, Mike Galoop, uh, one of the legendary Seattle Green Lake Jammers. And let's see what they're, let's see, see what they put together here. One thing that's great about Mike that I don't think he gets enough credit for is his creativity. He has a lot of unique moves that I think are his that not a lot of other people do anyways, and he puts them in his routine. And I think it's a really good mentor to have for someone like Brett in entering the competitive space. Yeah, so they're doing some nice passing, uh, some good controlled tight movement, um, some rim dragging there into a nice backside um, barrel catch. What do you think about their spacing? It seems like they're making a good use of the field. Yeah, I'd like to see a little bit more. It seems like they're they're a little bit too centric. There's a lot of space in the gym, and like that's an example right there. They're not moving around much, and I know they're both athletic. So it's just my preference to see what they are. But this is freestyle, and that's what I love about it, is it can be anything. It's not necessarily one, one thing, but within the context of a uh, judge routine between the cones, under the clock, and in front of the judges, there's some very specific things that they're looking for. I like that groundwork, really turn it into co-ops, which is cool. You don't see that quite as much. Yeah. And even continuing it, so it wasn't a one-off ground move. It was a couple in there. Brett the Jet doing big guidance there. like that set right into the scarecrow you don't see that too often yeah very nice you could tell he's been grinding on that move and he's happy to show it here today yeah it's a little shaky there but hopefully they reel it back in mike went for airport and the plane did not land <laughs> exactly <laughs> but he reels it in with a good godus you don't see that move as much these days <laughs> there you go yeah good godus Oh, going for the counter lefty go to pull. It's not quite there. Yeah, tight movement again. Standing very close together. Lots of rim drags. I love that theme. Yeah, good tuck and roll. Go to set to go to pull right into Guidus. All right, next we have two legends. You can introduce these two. Okay, so Lairbs, Imperiali, greatest counter win player of all time. And Paul Kenny, the, the, how do you say, Jack Hemingway of freestyle. <laughs> He's seen a lot and he does a lot. He's an innovator for sure. Yeah. 
also one of the great routine builders. I have a feeling they're mostly having fun out here for this yeah, event, but right. we're real excited to see them. Do they have much of a history playing together? I don't think they do, well, right? They, they do, but not in routines so much, but they both live in Jacksonville, Florida, and they jam on the beach, God, I would think, every single day. That's, I'm sure that's an exaggeration. I see the, the use of, of um, extra conditions, if you will, where Paul banked it off the wall over there. That's how you know they're just having fun. I don't think they planned yeah, on a right. wall bank ceiling combo, but Paul managed to find one. And Larbs with classic Larbs moves, surprising that got away from him. He's been doing that for, what, about 50 years now? Well, making Larry play inside a gym is like trying to cage a <laughs> lion or something. Yeah. He needs, he yeah, needs he space. Yeah, he needs win. He needs some pr pressure pushing the disc back to him. But look There's at that a, angle. Look at the yeah. use of angles they do. They, they see the disc differently than anybody. There's definitely a good contrast in style in the sense that Larry's really going to put it out in the air and yeah. hit that disc hard. And Paul is much more of a you know, master technician, just utilizing the physics of the disc in a way that few can. And, and I know Larry's game so well, I can know what he wants to do and I know when he's bailing and he's, he's a marvel to watch. I absolutely love it. Great cup over from Paul. He's yep, known for his exactly. cupping ability and his yep. turnovers. So that's just a full combo for him. Yep. Interesting to see them use an orange disc. I don't see that very often. What do you think yeah. about disc color? Um, yeah, I've always gone for like a, a, a I guess, I guess a higher optical. Orange is a little bit dark, so using a, um, a, a yellow one has always been the preference, or a white one. Yeah. But they're so good, they could probably do it with any kind of disc. They could play with a black disc, probably. This is also a good mix of clock and counter. So Larry's, as you said, one of the best counter players ever. Yeah. And certainly well versed in clock. And Paul's kind of the opposite. He's more of a clock yeah. player, but also really yeah. good at counter. Exactly. I wonder if Larry has fingernails on, fake nails. I don't know. It, it seems like <laughs> his usual focus on brushing, kicking, and rolling. He might not have them, might not need them. <laughs> Okay, and that's it. All right. Hey, what a fun time, huh? They had a lot of fun for sure. Yeah. So I'm excited cool. about this one. This is Santiago and Jonathan. Okay. Charco and Chusas, two incredible freestylers who were the real surprise hits of 2014 Medellin World. Nice. And here they are coming back almost 10 years later with a whole new set of skills and a really, really complicated routine. Yeah, exactly. We've talked in other videos about how in the new judging system, content is king. The more content you get, the better. And you can't get much more content than this with four discs and juggling and all these exchanges. Yeah. Lots of complexity. But this is the cost. It's hard to keep yeah. that game yeah. clean when you have so much at risk. really good coordination they made that look easy it, um, relatively speaking it's way harder than they, than they showed it great exchanges yeah i wonder if they put their bodies so close together because it helped them space it out right to actually be touching each other like that and really good execution on these double throws it's not easy to throw it like that and keep each disc out of the other's flight pattern. Yeah, and I like the music too. Good restricted catch. Good barrel. And good use of space. Oh, there it happens. It happens yeah. to the best of them. Yeah. Great double roll, then it kept oh, it going. Oh, yes. Very good. Usually players will finish that just after the one roll, but they kept it in a consecutive combo. What about groundwork? 
I like that they, I feel like they always go one more move than I expect. <laughs> that was different. Knee trap, transformer yeah. type move. Yeah, right. Rim drag series into a re re and a guidance. Wow. Taking a breath, smart. Yeah. They're playing well. Oh, that was ah, cool. Uh, under set. That was a missed opportunity. This is interesting. <laughs> what body would you sculpture. call this, Skippy? <laughs> I don't know, some kind of contorted body sculpture. That looks like the, the Air Museum. We <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that was good. I like that. Okay, here comes the premier Medellin jammers. Yeah, we've got Pablo and Santiago again, right? Yeah. This should be very exciting. The alpha team. Great guide us for them. Yeah. They have really good body types for freestyle, just really long limbs. Yeah big windows on all their moves. Yep. Strong, quick. Oh, going right into the uh, double barrel guy that's off of the lefty set. Super good air, just couldn't quite yeah. reel it in. He was a little early. A little too anxious. Gets the double barrel, a little bit of a pause, but not much. Wiper got away from him. Going for um, the leg roll. And that's one of his signature moves. Yeah. Oh, that's a classic. Uh, Donnie Wallace, where are you? The hammer into the scarecrow. Yep. Definitely a lot of spinning here. This is a spin to win ideology we're seeing in play. So also note how they're using the entire gym floor. They're all over this place. Yeah. Good choice there. Here's their ground a sequence. Interesting throws too. That was kind of an on the ground roll throw of some yeah. sort. And, and they went away from what they were trying to do with their ground game. Big guy just, oh, he was just, just popped out of his hand. Wow, that's hard. Yeah, that was ambitious. tips you don't see as much tipping these days ah i just lost it on the easy part yeah they're losing their focus just a little bit that just shows you how delicate this is even when it looks easy it's not it never is oh going for the scarecrow brush yeah So when you're in a situation like this where you just can't kind of reel it in, what's your approach to getting back on track? Well, I've always thought that you just do the structure of the routine. You just fall back onto the routine. You, you don't try to do the big moves. Um, and you just let the, the structure of the routine carry the day. Oh, that was a beautiful... Locator. <laughs> Russian submarine locator scarecrow pole. I like what you said, Paul Kenny always says, trust the routine. And yeah. I think the routine takes the decision-making out of it yeah. for you. So you can just yeah, focus exactly. on what you're doing yeah, yeah. and not worry about anything else. All right, well, they're... Sure, they're not super happy with that routine, but those are two superstar players and everyone yeah. knows it. Their ambition exceeded their adhesion. So now, well, here we go. Tommy Leitner, superstar. And who's he playing with here? Timek. Rotec from Poland. This is one of my favorite routines of the tournament. I love both of these players dearly, and I think Timek is our next superstar player. Nice. I'm not familiar with this game, so this will be a pleasure, but man, he has big windows. I can see that already. He's, they're both so clean. This is such a crisp start. Wow. Already got a lot of content, a lot of catches in. Just next level skills already. Wow. Temek is one of the new Polish players. 
really doing a lot in the sport, very active, and we're thrilled to have him. Look at that fantastic guy. This. Great scarecrow. Yeah, Tommy keeping the routine going. Good mix of quick catch and speed flow. So you're yeah. seeing more of a speed flow. Yeah. With good throw variety as well. Yep. I love that behind the back, under the leg throw. You don't see that enough. That was exquisite. All right, Skippy, give me your top four tippers of all time on the spot. <laughs> top Go. four tippers? Well, J Joey would be right up there. Uh, Donnie Rhodes is right there with him. I don't think there's anybody too far away beyond that. Um, but Tommy is Got to be one. there. Yeah. And Got to be er there. And then Irwin Velasquez, that's my four. Great Olivia from Timic there. Yeah. He looks super comfortable. It's got to be stressful, too, to be a, I don't want to call him a newer player, but certainly hasn't competed in that many worlds, and you're playing with Tom Leitner, one of the winningest freestylers of all time, but Timbeck seems to be handling it just fine. Yeah, I know. It's remarkable. It's just incredible to see Tommy still playing at the highest level of the sport. Yeah, his drive is, continues to just be exemplary. I think you might have had a big role in that, right, Skippy? Well, I did, but I, it's like I can only show him so much. And what's the old saying? Uh, if a student does not exceed the teacher, the teacher fails. Oh, it goes for that big double. Oh, Doesn't that was it. huge. Wow, that was, I wonder if he planned that. That was a great kick tip. And Tommy, one of the best rollers of all time, if not the best roller of all time. His roll game is better than uh, than anyone's. Going for another double. Oh, yeah, almost. they just, God, it's like, they again, they were playing so well, and they just lost their focus just ever so slightly. But chalk it up to experience, right? Yeah. He said, he said he's young. Is this his first world finals? I think it's his second world. I believe he competed in Milan, but yeah. he's got a long future ahead of him. Yeah. Okay, chalk it up to experience. And now um, here's, here's Ryan again, and who's he playing with? He is playing with my protege, Will Ho from Duke University. He's been no playing kidding. for less than two years in this video. No kidding. And I can tell you, since this video, he's gotten twice as good. Oh, good. He's also got a great mentor here with Ryan Young, one of the best players yeah. in the world and yeah. certainly one of the best coaches in the world. Good choice, keeping it safe. Yep. Kind of behind the back catch. Scissor kick. Leprechaun kick. Uh, is that what you call it? A leprechaun kick? Yeah, and he did both sides there, right yeah, foot and left foot. I saw foot. that, yeah. Oh, didn't quite get that one. Yeah, a little Bill King kick. Hop over kick. Big send. Good choice. Yeah. Here we have some more double disc, like we've seen from a lot of the Colombian players. Double flawed. Yeah, that was solid. Even Ryan had to go for the double chair. Yeah. This is definitely a spin to win mentality here. Yeah. Single lacer. Double barrel. Didn't quite get it. Upside down. But we're going to see a Saturn here. Very nice. Not quite. That's always a little risky when you mis-execute the delay and try to set it back like that. Right. Good set. That's Got his. the switch, Guidus. Yep, the hitch, Guidus. Did anyone do that back in the day? Yeah. People were doing it from pretty much a get-go. It was just very unusual. And it was yeah. only because they couldn't do it normal. That was their normal. Yeah. Another double from Will. 
There you go. You don't see that many doubles from most new players in their first Worlds Finals. I think this is maybe Will's third tournament. Double Fleming Guidus. Oh my. There's the double barrel that was eluding Ryan before. Big open barrel. Good indigenous pull. Yep. There's the send. Oh. He underset that. Yeah, it wasn't really where he needed it. Here's an old school. Yeah, co -op. it is. Yep. Okay. Great first showing. Yeah, exactly. All right, next we have Chesco and Anka, easily two of the top five players in the world right now. Yeah. Yeah, they're both absolutely incredible. And every time I see them, they get better. Yeah, wow, great form on that flood. Chesco's one of the most inventive players in the world right now, too. He's got an incredible kick game that almost nobody can match. And he's from Milan? He's from Milan, Italy. He lives in the Frisbee Temple, the Freestyle nice. Frisbee Temple in Milan. He in lives Hakusum. there? Yeah, he lives there. He runs it. <laughs> it's like a freestyle museum. That's fantastic. Wow, so fast. Now, I don't know when it happens, but at some point, if I remember correctly, Anka loses her nail here. And oh, that really? Throws off the whole routine, unfortunately. Really? But so far, it looks really strong. Yeah. Love that kick. Yeah. What would you call that? Uh, outside, backside heel kick. Really great variety here so far. Yeah. Different kinds of combos, different amounts of spin. Great leg over skid. That's cool. Yeah. They're both so good at kicking. It's just awesome yeah. to see players complement each other like that. Wow, the ridge delay. Yeah. It's maybe a monster there? I couldn't quite tell. Yeah, it looked like monster. Oh, not the right set uh, for that. Yeah, it wasn't the set they wanted. Leprechaun love kick. Yeah, and I love Anka's inverted delays. It looks so, so natural, so easy. Yeah, effortless, effortless. Yeah, exactly. Great brush. Oh. Oh, that would have been amazing. Yeah. Great idea. Oh, not quite there. Yeah, but look how tight the turns are. Yeah, super fast spinner. Yeah. Great, like indigenous take into a turnover. Yeah. Beautiful guidance. Oh, that was a big guidance. Upside down. Wow. Yeah. Great pull. Knee brush, double yeah. knee brush. <laughs> knee bop tango. Yeah. Oh, love ah. the theme. <laughs> Trap. Oh my cool. gosh, what was that? Whoa. I don't know. I think I was oh. trying. Oh, into the heel kick. Okay, that was pushing the envelope. That was extreme. Oh, I love that. All of this is tough. pushing the envelope. Such a hard routine. Yeah, so we were referencing earlier just stay within the routine if it's not going well. They are not doing that, they're just continuing to try to bust moves. Oh man, yeah. I bet she well, wants that one back. <laughs> get Hane and no bail. All right, next we got me and Daniel O'Neill. I'm gonna say it right now, Daniel carries this routine. He is <laughs> the strongest competitor in the world right now. I don't even think it's yeah. close. Yeah, and it's good to see him in top form. Yeah. Rad attitude. Yeah. So what I'm looking for you guys is where are your sets? Um, how do you set the disc to each other? How do you make the other guy look good? That's like the, the advanced version of being a really successful freestyle team. 
Ryan always says the key to freestyle is to aim, and it's something that people forget to do. Right, but, but having really good throws and really good sets, complimenting your partner so they can be successful is really underrated. Oh, big kick. That's nice. Good wide, beautiful kicks. Yep, simple catch too to complement that move. Love Daniel's energy when he plays. He's yeah. an actor. He's trained as an actor and a dancer, and it always yeah. shows in his game. And I love how li little wasted movement there is. There's no defensive moves. Everything is on point. There's no adjustments. It's very clean. I'll take that just, one back. <laughs> yeah, you were a little you were a little late, just by a hair. And there's his patented rim, upside down rim drag. Beautiful. Simple catch, but keeping within the routine. No need to push your, your envelope there. Data's Spin also out. one of the best throwers in the world. Yeah. It's like watching him just rip that disc is incredible. Yeah. The roto crank. Big set to your hitch guidance, but notice the set was perfect. Yeah, exactly. Here's a signature Daniel move that yeah, elbow yeah. tits. He gets so signature many, he just tip. always does a few more than you think he should. Yeah, go set, yeah. Good catch. Good choice. That's yep. a veteran save. Yep. Oh, how did I drop that? Uh, it was late. <laughs> Patented Daniel Guidas to finish. You got to do it. Okay, well, that was a fantastic routine. And again, it was way beyond what any of the other routines were doing. I thought you guys played like champions for the ages there. So well done, you guys. Well, Skippy, as always, it's a real pleasure. The sport owes a great deal to you, and it's just so fantastic to have you involved in keeping in the new freestyle. We really appreciate it. We're happy to have you. and. We're going to continue to carry on this great tradition that you had such a big role in innovating and keeping going. So you're much loved in this sport. So thanks for doing this with me today. Yeah, it's always a pleasure, James, and I'm a big fan of yours. And all the people that we saw here today, let's uh, give them a round of applause and support them as they develop into future world champions. So thank you, everyone. Exactly.